All right, let's have a look at dealing with really old FLA file projects inside of Animate CC. I'm going to just drag in this uh, FLA you see right here onto Animate itself, and it opens up for me. Now, this particular FLA file is actually something that was created back in 2001 as a website intro. And really, there's not a whole lot to it. Um, there is some sound and there's a bunch of layers. Let's go ahead and actually test this out. So we'll do a control test. And that's basically it. Um, like I said, it's just a basic thing that I created when I first started learning Flash Professional way back in 2000, 2001, something like that, for a website. And what we want to do, though, is turn this into an HTML5 Canvas document in order to run it in the native web today. So to do that inside of Animate, it's very easy, even on something that was created way back when. Just choose File, Convert to, and then you can choose something like HTML5 Canvas. Here we're prompted to give this file a new name because it's going to save right alongside of our original FLA. So let's just hit Save, and it'll give it the default here. All right, so it goes through and creates the file for us. And it lets us know that any frame scripts have been commented because, of course, action script cannot run inside the native web browser. So it's commented all those out for us. If we wanted to, we could go into our document and manually convert this to JavaScript. However, I actually don't have any action script or JavaScript inside of this project, so that's fine. It also lets us know that the sync type for our audio is not supported and it's been transferred to event, but that's just fine too. So let's go to our timeline. You can see this looks identical to what we had before. And if I go ahead and do a control test once again, there we are, it creates our document for us. And if we inspect, we can see that that is a canvas element running inside of the browser. All right, of course, there's probably some stuff we would want to do to manage this a little bit better. And if you look at the library here, we can see that we've got all of our assets. Here's an image photograph of myself about 18 years ago. And we have our little movie clip symbols here. Graphic symbols, here's our actual sound file. So if we wanted to mess with that, we could go in there and do that. Here's the audio file for our sound, a WAV file. And then we've got a couple of tweens here. As I said, this is one of my first Flash projects. So yeah, um, I wasn't naming stuff apparently back then. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's that basic. You can convert your stuff to HTML5 Canvas. You can modify it however you wish and uh, do whatever you want with the assets.